So is there a stigma within the black community that, that stay away from water or are we afraid of water? Like you tell me your perspective. Yeah, I mean, it's a great question. It's one that like we really need to address, right? So my, um, my thinking around this is that swimming is a generational skill, right? So by that, I mean, think about how'd you learn to cook an egg? Yeah, my mom. Your mom taught you, right? Yeah. So that's a generational skill, like one generation teaches the next. Mm. And so my belief is that that is what swimming is. Like, you know, my kids, I'll teach them to swim or mm. I'll make sure there's, you know, they learn to swim. It's a focus. It's part of our culture. And I think part of the stigma around swimming in the black community is the fact that there were 400 years in our history where um, swimming was not available. In fact, during slavery, that period of time, the slave owners did not want their slaves to know how to swim, mm -hmm. right? Because that that's another um, path to freedom. Mm. And so, um, you know, you take away the generational aspect of the skill and you replace it with fear and, um, and, you know, that gestalt, if you will, kind of like leads us to this place where we are now, where, um, you know, many in the black community either don't know how to swim or are afraid of the water um, and believe that, you know, believe that it's impossible for black people to know how to swim. And that's not just black people, but it's also white people. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was 12 years old, it was... Uh, the anniversary of Jesse Owens, wait, was it Jesse Owens? It was the anniversary of um, uh, was it not Jesse Owens? Anyway, it, there was an anniversary mm -hmm. of uh, breaking a color barrier mm -hmm. and uh, they got this guy, Al Campanis and he was, a, he was a manager of the LA Dodgers at the time. And this was like 1984. And he said, um, you know, blacks are great athletes in sports like uh, football and track and baseball, but they would, they're not great in, at being quarterbacks and they're not, and they can never be swimming swimmers because their bodies are the wrong type of bodies for swimming. <laughs> okay. Right. And I was like, and at the same time, like we had a whole like swim team of black kids. <laughs> so it was like, we were, this was on national television in 84. And I was, and, and so that at that moment, it became real for me, even as a young kid that like we had something to prove. Yeah. Um, and so to get back to your question, um, the lack of role models in the sport, um, the sport being taken away from us, um, you know, all kind of led to the stigma and, but I think it's changing and, um, you know, communities across the country are adopting the sport of swimming. It's a movement. People like Maritza Cullen, Simone, Leah, mm -hmm. Giles, um, Reese, they are, um, exemplars of what is our potential. And uh, people are taking note. 